Alright, what's up everybody? It's D-Boy. I'm going to go over a big new thing that's been uh, going around the internet. Auto-tunes. You know, it's huge. A lot, a lot of, uh, you know, rappers and everything are using it. T-Pain, Kanye West, Snoop Dogg. A whole bunch of people. Even Cher. Cher, one of the first ones to start using it, really. A lot of people fail to understand that. A lot of people are getting, you know, real mad about auto-tunes. Which I hate it. Personally... I hate it because, you know, it's overused way too much. I mean, you can almost hear it in every one of T-Pain's songs. And don't even get me started on Kanye West's Heartbreak album. It's just horrible. It's a fact I don't like it anyway. But that's a whole other topic. Let's just get what I was going to show you. I'm using Adobe Audition to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Audition. Uh, you know, later I'll make one for uh, Fruity Loop Studio. It's a, uh, it's not a hard thing to do. It's uh, more just confusing because it, you know they really don't put the options out there. You know you really can't find it right away. So I'm just gonna show you how to go about doing that. Now, uh, once you get Adobe Edition loaded, so you can see I can't use my mic because it's in use right now, but. You're going to want to go under edit. This is where you can load up all your plugins, your VST plugins. Alright? Now, you got to have them installed. Now, this is where they get installed to. If you download single VST plugins, you put them in this folder. Let's see. Now, I'm running a 64 bit version of Windows. If you're running 32 bit, then it's just going to look like this. But if you're running 64 bit, it's, it's going to be under here. So anyway, you go into your program files. It's going to be under VST plugins. Where is it at? Right there. VST plugins. You can see everything you have in I got Harmony Engine, Auto-Tune, the FL Studio plugins, uh some more the more Antares plugins, but they're all right here. Now, after you got them there, however you get them installer, you extracted them, whatever. Go under effects. Go down to VST plugin manager. That's all you gotta do. Just click it and it will do the rest of the work for you. It'll come up with a little box. You select what you want added into Adobe Edition. Now obviously I'm not gonna use Fruity Loop Studio plugins because it's just, it's just not it's unsupported to begin with, but you have no need for it. But you know you pick and choose what you want in there all you do is hit OK and it'll do the rest by itself you just let it go now it'll come up with a little box uh, saying something or another right here some selected plugins are VST instruments blah 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 hit OK and then it'll finish up now after that's done you can go back under your multi-track view hit the FX button Select your effects, go all the way down to VST, all right, there you go. You got everything that you just added. Auto-tune VST, you got that loaded up. And that's what this looks like. And, uh, you know, maybe at later later times I'll come out with tutorials on how to use this, you know, get them T-Pain effects and all that. All that good stuff that you guys are looking for. But, uh, yeah, it's really that simple. That's all you got to do. You can get everything loaded up in here. Harmony Engine. And this thing is just plain out stupid. I don't even know why they bothered making it, but yeah, I mean it's that easy. That's all you gotta do. Uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful. I know there was tons of questions on how to get this stuff added in there, so I hope this answered a lot of them. All right, guys.